fantastic, right? But this place is massive. It you know, people say we, we are like, you know, modern society, mate. Right. Next time. We are recording. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Surely there is no high speed trains that take you from a place like this in the mountains to the technology city. Hello, it is so nice. Look at that. Good morning guys, we are here in Yangshuo, the beautiful views of Yangshuo. And today we are leaving and taking the train to Shenzhen. The train in a place like this. Surely there is no high speed trains that take you from a place like this in the mountains to the technology city Shenzhen. Well here in China, because China is so rural, right? Well. Here in China, they have trains and high-speed trains taking you from here to Shenzhen. And today we are riding one of these high-speed trains all the way to Shenzhen. So join us as we venture into China's technology city. I can't wait. I've wanted to go to Shenzhen for so, so long. So very exciting. The question I have actually is what does a bullet train look like out here in the countryside? Do the train stations look the same? Are they like the modern city metropolises and the stations like we saw in Guangzhou or are they completely different? Let's find out what bullet train from Yangshuo to Shenzhen looks like. Join us. This is the girl in red, ready to go to Shenzhen. Mm. Nearly. Nearly ready. I'm a bit sad. You're a bit sad. Mm. You're going to miss Yangshuo. shiny it's been very hot sun cream that is not sweat here she is look at the view behind you Julia guys we are here in Yangshuo at the railway station we were about an hour's drive from here and you saw all those beautiful uh, mounds or mountains where we are well, here they are still, even an hour away. This is how much they of it. Still. They haven't moved. They haven't, no, but the, you know, <laughs> they, they are, there's still more of them. That's how vast <laughs> this landscape is. This landscape, this is a true wonder of the world. Let me tell you, there are Everywhere places in the world like turn. Nimbin and, 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 and Halong Bay. Fantastic, right? But this place is massive. It is just Everywhere goes turn, on and on. Yeah, you're it's, surrounded yeah, by it. Yeah, it's crazy. You can go anywhere and you'll be surrounded by it. How the, on earth did they build these roads here? Because it's just, it's just massive, um, these, these mounds. So it must have been an absolute nightmare building the trains and building this. But here amongst all these mounds, we've got the train station. So this is, I've got a tree blocking it, but I've got, there's trees everywhere here. But this is it, this is Yangshuo Station. And this is, what well, it looks like. Pretty impressive. Oh, let me take it now. <laughs> pretty, pretty impressive. So we are a little bit early. We've started to adapt to trains in China, especially the high speed trains, because they're a bit like an airport. There's so many people taking the train and uh, it's good to get here early, isn't it, Julia? It's bullet train, isn't it? Is it a bullet train? Yeah. They're all bullet trains, really. Guys, under three hours to go to one of China's technology cities from the countryside. This is amazing, right? This is a true wonder of the world. And then you're at China's most futuristic city in less than three hours. Guys, China is certainly doing bits. And you know how much the ticket cost? 25 quid. You know how much a train in England, 40 minute normal train costs? 22 pounds. Bag check over. Now we are going up to the train station. We're on the half two train. So you could imagine just even a small place like this. This is this is huge for a small train station, isn't it, Julia? You should see the train stations near me or in the west. I mean, like where I'm from in the UK, it's like some of them 
Oh, they, you know, people say we we are like you know modern society. I think it's, uh, I think it's hard for a lot of people here to understand. I know. Uh, yeah. US might be, I, I haven't been. US, but UK is like... Wow. Look how many people there are as well. So busy. Look at this guy, so many people. Yeah, let's go. You want to go down there? Yeah, let's go, that's a good idea. The thing about the trains here as well is you might ask, why don't you fly? But in China, let me tell you, the trains are so fast that it's almost as quick as flying to be honest unlike train stations in the uk where we don't have air conditioning <laughs> they have air conditioning units up here as well Let's see it up here along here but it's a little bit hot today so i don't know if it's working it's the first ever time it's quite warm in a, in a train station because normally it's super cold um, and super super chilled but, uh, normally too cold to this yes. so you're probably thinking how hot can it be well it is about it's about 34 degrees and this is october now this is end of september so you can imagine we are in a very hot period this is a fried chicken place hamburgers and fried chicken cake they call it fried chicken cake it's an interesting translation isn't it this is it this is the food selection here in Yangshuo. Right, I've just got back from the shop. I didn't film in the shop because sometimes it's a little bit odd if you film in the shop. Like, very small shop like that. I don't want this lady to give me a stranger. Julie's not very happy with what I picked up. Look at this. It's really nice, but not for the train. Sichuan potatoes. My pal wasn't happy about this, uh, this five kilos bag with snacks we've got. <laughs> uh, look, look at this bag. There's any sort of thing. Yeah, but I'm, might... I'm quite hungry at the moment. Yeah, and, but you uh, can't open this on the train. If it's I thought I thought I'd also get a beer as well because this is an interesting beer. I've never seen this beer before. I like to try Chinese beers when I can, and different regions because the country is so big. There's so many different beers you can have, and obviously get a coffee. It's Nest Cafe, not very good, but um, not bad. All of that for 30 yuan is not is not too bad. That's a pretty good price. In England, you'd probably be paying about 30 yuan for a beer at a train station. Guys, what's super interesting is they've got a um, drinks cabinet just there and uh, you you actually can, I believe, just open it and just take a drink. Obviously, you pay for it with the QR code, but it, it, it seems to be a trust thing. I mean, honestly, if I we, we had that in the UK, it'd be empty because uh, people would just nick it and never pay for it, you know. But here in China, it's different. I guess people are a little bit more honest than we are in the UK anyway, and they will pay for it. One, two, like four baked potatoes. potatoes each. Right. They're like, they're like cherry tomatoes size. <laughs> it's quite interesting. So I suggested to open it now. Cause, see uh, how smelly it is. At least we see if it's very stinky. Here you go. Let me try it. Oh, actually. Mmm. Is it nice? Oh, wow. It's not stinky actually. I was wrong. There's a black pepper. They're slightly spicy though, aren't they? Mm. They're nice. They're a little bit stinky. They haven't got a bad stinky smell. They just smell a bit like... It's nice. There is something that reminds me of Indian curry though. Really? Mm. Doesn't mind you of Sichuan then? No, that much. Hot pot. It's slightly, slightly spicy, which is nice, but um, you get this like strange Indian curry thing. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I think it's. I think it smells and tastes no, a bit like Sichuan. Tell you and see what I mean. Right. Um, we're not crazy. I swear. Mm. Do you see what I mean? Think about it. I think it might be a cumin or something inside. That's one of the best snacks I've had. Lunch replacement. Guys, that is super nice actually. But this is it. This is what they are. They're not bad, they come in individual packs. China loves plastic. I'm putting things in individual packs, so uh, not bad. Not a bad deal. Shorter as well, already playing longer. 
I think because they're electronic gates, this will be the manual gate, isn't it? Hi. Airport vibes. So as I was saying, trains in China are almost better than the flights. It's like, if you think about it, by the time you get to an airport, it takes you about an hour. It's all usually about an hour out. Then check in, you've got to be there two hours early. All sorts. Yeah, I know, yeah. What, what I don't understand, right, is everyone's so lovely and friendly. But when it comes to queuing, why some people have no no clue about queues in their life and uh, it's kind of not something we experience but here just then people are just shamelessly pushing in front of people and it's like mate it's like come on like you know you wait your turn um what really amazes me about pushing is that i can understand you push in front of a foreigner you're like my country you know you do what you want that's your that's your stuff but they push in front of their own countrymen. And uh, what really interests me is people, many people don't actually say anything to these people that push in front of them. And uh, it's, uh, it's a 16, yeah. They, they keep quiet. In England, let me tell you, if someone pushed in front of you, you say, listen, mate, join the end of the queue, jog on. But in China, everyone's so nice that they don't even say anything to these people. We are carriage number 16. 16, that's how big this train is. Phenomenal. All right, we are on the train now. And uh, that was a really stressful train journey because the, the platform is labeled one to 16, whatever. And so, and it was in yellow and people were standing at those doors. But it turns out when the train actually arrived, we got to 16, but it turns out the train said this was one. So we had to sprint up to the other side. And the train is so big that it's cut into two different trains. You can imagine how fast this is. So, so we had to run about eight carriages and get into the ninth one just to get onto the right side of the train. Otherwise, if you miss it, you're stuck in the wrong side of the train. Trains run on time, so there is no waiting. You know, you've got to be quick. E. It's next right. time. We are recording. It's next time. So it was stopped looking for Christmas. Yes. So it was a safe. It was a safe pick, was it? It was a safe pick. It was safe. <laughs> so we started with savory stuff. Right. This is going to be our lunch. <laughs> Like serial killer opening. Look at that. This is Chinese snacks, guys. Let's see what you have this. Cheese corn. It's cheese corn. Mm. Oh. Well, it is not savory. It's a bit sweet. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's like popcorn. Mm, it's nice. Cheesy pop, sweet cheesy popcorn. I like it, but it's a bit sweet. So maybe. Keep you for later. This is what we've got, guys. Uh, some kind of. It's quite heavy. There's a filling in there, actually. It's a bit sweet, but not very sweet. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. Smell that. Yeah. To be fair, I wouldn't know the picture. But you had some in mind. People eat these just without anything in it. Or? Mm. I'm going to break it open and put some bean curd in it. We've got this bean curd here. I'll put it in. Mm. Bean curd. Sandwich, mm, very nice. It's on this side. <laughs> He's gonna get arrested now. What? <laughs> I'm doing this. 
Oh yeah, these things. These are probably going to be very stinky. There was a um, fat streak. Yeah. Oh, they don't smell too much actually. We should do a challenge. It's like people, people decide um, who puts the best necks. <laughs> Me or you. It's fat streak. Right, here we go. Mmm. Mm. It's like crispy bean curd skin. Look, it's quite, um, it's quite thin. It is. To his face. Mm. You like it? This will be a pop spot. Look at that. Whoa. Now that looks delicious. Almost like a popcorn cake. Got some kind of caramel flavour in it. Super delicious. Super. Mm. It's chewy. Super light. Very delicious. We have something like this in the West. We call it squares, but it's a little bit different. But this is very similar. I have a feeling this is much more your snack than my snack. How long does that feel like a bit crispy but dry? And this is more on the soggy side. This is nice. Or brown sugary. Texture is very pat snack. Almost like soggy to me. More pat snack definitely. That's not true. It's a good snack. It's a pat snack and it's a good snack. Julie just picks snacks based on how pretty they look. Who picks the best snacks? Let us know. I think I do. Sort of peach something. Mm. It looks a bit like those ones that have like jellies in it. Mm. Oh, it is so nice. It's some sort of um, peach juice. And then and then it, it comes up like a bubble tea, but I think it's some sort of jelly like also peachy stuff. You know. It's good though. You can't knock it. <laughs> I do love a good pitch drink. Mm. Wow. Very good views on the train, let me tell you. It's sunset time, about an hour from sunset. This is about 50 minutes drive from Shenzhen, but probably 20 minutes on the train. This train is going to something like 270 kilometers an hour. It keeps going up, it's very, very quick. We're going up to about 140 miles an hour. Hey. Horrid. Looks alright. Not bad, Tony. Air conditioned, second class, not bad, is it? It's actually not frigid. No, it wasn't, it was actually quite nice. Very good. Oh, this is free water, is it? Oh, wow. Never get that on English trains, let me tell you. <laughs> Pay for your water there. Cost you £2.50 a bottle. Cheers. Right, as we are here in uh, Shenzhen now. All right. Finally. Look at this. <laughs> 